Hey guys, so today I'm going to discuss a new law that's going to be starting January 1, 2020. And so essentially what it is is that now in employment law settlement agreements, the California legislature recently passed a law that's going to prohibit no rehire provisions in settlement agreements. So many times people, when they settle an employment lawsuit, like whether it be, you know, wage and hour, sexual harassment, discrimination of some sort, they would enter into these agreements saying essentially, you cannot, re you cannot be rehired, don't apply to this company or any affiliate. So what the problem was is that, you know, a person would agree to leave a job, but let's say they want to go and work for an affiliate position with some kind of affiliate company. So the settlement agreement may show something like you can't apply for that job. You can't be, you know, even you can't apply for that job because it is affiliated with the old uh, employer that you used to have. Another problem with it is that this is all part of like the Me Too movement. So another problem with it was that in cases of sexual harassment, that the offender might stay on the job, whereas the victim might be leaving the job, even though the victim, you know, didn't do anything wrong, but now they're forced to uh, not be rehired and not apply for any affiliate positions. So now what happens if it's put into a settlement agreement? So generally speaking, it should be void as a matter of law, which means that even if you sign on it, then you could still apply for certain jobs. You could you could apply for the same job over again. You could apply for uh, jobs that are in regard to related companies. So if those if it's contained in a settlement agreement, then obviously you know before you sign a settlement agreement with an employer, you're going to want to speak to a competent employment lawyer. Um, but generally speaking, it's just going to be void now. So it's not going to be something really to worry about. And I cover in another video that if you recently got fired from your job or if you're being forced to quit from your job, don't sign anything. Don't sign any release agreement without speaking to an attorney. Don't take any check that says, you know, like full and final. Uh, you need to talk to a competent employment attorney to see what your rights are. You may be leaving a lot of money on the table and definitely something worth looking into. All right, Johnny Roven here. Take care.